our next step is to assign the information from the form to PHP variables. So we have our form objects here named out. And now we're going to create PHP variables and assign the data from the form. So to, the, to make them stand out and be different, I'm going to go ahead and call these V whatever they are because they are the PHP variable names. They'll also stand out though because of the dollar sign in front of them. So for example, we're going to pull in S name first, the piece from S name. So I'm going to go V name equals, and we're going to call to this get input function that we created. So it's going to be get input, and then it's going to be a left parenthesis. PHP has a command, two basic commands that work with the information. Post is to pull it in. Get is to get the information from the database and retrieve it. So in this instance, we are posting the information. We could also work with these other ones. And when we post, then we use a left bracket. The square ones are brackets. We do a quotation, and then we use our form's name, which is S name. Right quotation, right bracket, right parenthesis, semicolon. So let's do a little syntaxing here real quick before I do the other ones. So I'm going to comment this out so that we can work with it. So it's going to be dollar PHP name equals function dollar sign post left bracket quotation form name form input name let's do that quotation right bracket right parenthesis semicolon it is a lot of typing I'm not gonna lie and to save time on the video I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this real quickly. Whoopsies. That was a big picture. Let's try this again. So instead of V name, we're going to call it VID and SID. Because remember, we're pulling from the different form objects, sending them to PHP variables. We're also going to do V money. can't see with my mouse in the way and we're going to do s money and then finally v lunch and s lunch so right here we created three or I'm sorry four PHP variables that we're going to use to store the information that we pulled from the form. So actively pull the information from the form, send it down to this function, cleaned it up, and next we're going to be able to write it to our database.